Hello and welcome back to Psycholo Gaming. I'm Psycholo and we carry on our Manfred campaign. Manfred is back. And we have Beastmen in the area. That's interesting. The Jagged Horn Tribe. Could be a good test for Manfred. Well, not really a test, but a good battle just for experience. And hopefully a bit of loot. Although our income is doing quite well. We um, secured our borders up north. Taken a few more territories, and we've upgraded Draken, uh, not Draken half, but Sylvania in, um, as well. So we are doing okay. We are doing okay. When we're making our push into the Empire, we now need to decide who to attack next. Whether we go for Reichland or whether we continue and push north and take the northern provinces. Because if we go for Reichland, it is going to be a long push. But they've just taken a lot of this territory, so... Hmm, we'll have to think. We'll, ha we'll have a think. We'll have a think. Either way, we need Hellman to recruit an army first. Before we do that um, battle, or before we even think about attacking. Reichland. So I let's end the turn because I don't think we can do anything else this turn and see what the first turn of this episode brings us. So we've moved a character to Blywater and managed to get the reward. So we've got the Sword of Unholy Power quest battle. The Thrall reports that the Greenskins have gathered in great numbers around the Pillar of Bone, and that their shamans are engaged in one of their primitive rituals to their gods, Gork and Mork. Manfred fingers his sword th thoughtfully, then calls to his right king captains to ready the army. So if we do get the Sword of Unholy Power, it does provide us with some nice, nice um, buffs for Manfred. So we might actually do that battle first with Manfred's army. Because we are quite powerful with the units that we do have. Death is only the beginning. What else can we build? I don't think there's anything else we can build here yet. We can upgrade though. We could upgrade. Or we could upgrade Brackenhoff, uh, not Brackenhoff, Templehoff. Further. A lot of things that we can do. I will allow. No. This better be important. Let's attack it. I know we're not going to get much in terms of sacking, but let's raise it to the ground. Kills another enemy. We get the feather. Foe talk. The feathers of many beasts dangle from this talk. Its enchantments allow the wearer to strike at flying creatures with savage fury. And it means that yes. they're less likely to attack us on this turn. We also get a skill point for Gottfried, which is always nice. Uh, Cattle Herder. Gain one additional Sylvanian crossbowman. And because it is him that gave us this lovely treat, he can I reap the reward. Course and have an additional no. Sylvanian crossbowman in his army. We should really upgrade Sylvastra. We should. Before we do that, let's... Lich Master. We'll upgrade Drakenhof as much as possible. And Temple Half, we might as well, because the extra trade resource will help push up trade even further. We're getting quite a decent amount of um, income from trade now. And then, we've not really got much left actually. Let's cancel that. Helman Let's get some units to Helm and Ghost. Let's get some Vargeists. They'll always come and use him. 
Oh, and then we don't have enough income actually for this battle. Darkness calls. There we go, now we do. The true and if we go down to Blightwater, we can get Manfred's sword. Oh, teleport rather, Manfred. So, we have quite a lot of shamans, wizards. Don't know how powerful they'll be. I do like green skin spells. I do have some good spells like the Foot of Gork. I love the Foot of Gork. Um, and they've got some nice troops in this army, and some weak ones as well. So we'll see how we do. Apparently it's going to be a victory for us, but you never know. And I think I'm happy with all the banners that we've given out, so let's get into this battle. Look how the insects gather around the arcane fulcrum, chanting their pathetic rituals. We shall slaughter them in its shadow. Ensorcelling the Pillar of Bone with necromantic energy, and then Mind Blade will be bathed in unholy power. It is time. The Dead March! I don't think that was his best speech ever. I think he might be losing his touch. Have these on either. Crossbowmen. Uh, right, Vargo from the centre, along with our necromancer and our more centre. And let's get all of our cavalry. Off to the side as well. Necromancer. And our Vargeists. And where are the Vargeists? Let's get them together as well. Let's start that battle. And move up our troops. As for our... Cavalry can go up for the reinforcements of this flank and our... Oh... Tough enemies. We work some them that way. Send our Vargeists after the Doom... Doom Dive Catapults. Manfred can come. Goblin Wolf Riders. Let's speed things up so we can actually get into the battle. Oh, nice hit. Took out the bar guys there. Um, do we go for the night gob? Yeah, let's go for the night goblin archers. They can be pesky to deal with. We surpass the gas. I dealt nice damage to them, like that. Our time is now. Welcome to my will. Excellent. Dealing with the catapults quite nicely. That's spirit leash. And maybe even in case of Nagash. Probably wolf riders. Let's get on these archers. We need to take them out. Probably not the best having Goblin Spear infantry against our cavalry, actually, but it's too late now. And let's bring our Vargeist out of that. And have Anacron to kill them up, and Manfred probably kill them as well. Right, let's have some of our infantry just prepare this flank. Probably need more than that. With haste. And 
and let's prepare for the incoming reinforcements. And can we use another Spirit Leap? Shamans for now. And where's our. I'm thinking we could probably get off a good wind of death here. Might just be a bit off. Is our necromancer going to do it? We have to get into position first. Where's Manfred? Mm, did, did some damage. Now let's get Manfred into that battle. As well as some infantry. Our bar guys back up our vargles. Cavalry. Let's get them on the archers. Oh, excellent. That's doing a lot of damage. Manfred's abilities there. Pestilential death. Breath is really good. Just a ton of damage. Uh, I'm lost as a setting now. And the enemy lord is dead. Excellent victory. And we completed the quest. Uh, let's. We might as well just get them the money actually. Although Manfred wouldn't return the captives, um, he'll probably just dominate them. Follow me. And we've completed the quest successfully. So we've got the Sword of Unholy Power. Whenever this blade tastes blood, its wielder seems to exert greater control over the winds of magic. So plus 6 melee attack, plus 10% weapon strength, enables magical attacks. Vampiric corruption plus 5 local province. Recruitment cost minus 10% lord's army. Income from post battle loot plus 10%. And passive ability, Sword of Unholy Power, which increases power reserves. So a really decent weapon for Manfred to have. And we've got the Claw of Nagash, more Ascension. Unspeakable evil energy is excluded, both empowering the undead legions and crippling those who stand against them. So we've got some decent yes. um, benefits from doing that quest. As for our right king, he is now to join Helmand's army. And as for Manfred, when I clicked on him, I actually, actually moved him. I didn't want to move him. He's got a skill point, so what shall we get for Manfred now? Ooh, Wind of Death. Oh, power. Uh, magic uh, reserves. Magical reserves. Oh, it's tough now. 
let's um, to be honest, let's get devastating charge and buff up his charge bonus. Oh, I've still got no skill point. I'm thinking of working our way to Lightning Strike. Because some of this will help when we're going into territory that's not really corrupted yet. And we're going into constant battling. So let's get the dark, Darkling Skies, which um, lowers attrition by minus 3%. Night's March. And take him back to where he's meant to be as well. Dark magic so we've got some extra income, so we can fully recruit for Hellman. Death is only the I could get some graveyard as well for him. Oh, I should, no, let's leave that for now. Get a lot. What else can we get? Because our territories. Income in public order for Karak Arazia. Should really go for Red Eye Mountain soon. What garrison have they got? Not bad. What Not good want? either. Isabella, we want you to go for help it. You're going back course. there. Manfred's moved. That's all we can do for this turn, so let's head on into the next one. Technology researched blood is power. As the industry of undeath grows, so do the dwellings of its dark lords. It is blood that drives this dread economy, so we get extra income from our cities and extra growth, so plus 15% income is amazing. It's just really decent. And Hellman's going to reap the benefits. I don't know what else we should get for this army. The Cloth Nagash is a really decent um, unit, but the upkeep is ridiculous. We could get Sylvanian handgunners. Um, probably a Vargolf actually. And then cavalry, we need cavalry in this army of his. We're grading to get better cavalry actually, so we might hold off for three turns. My if we need to anyway. Knows no limits. If we get more grave guard, and then in three turns cavalry, and then see what else we want for the army. That sounds like a good what? plan. You can come to Mid and Stag and probably probably go for Middenland next. We'll go after uh, Boris Toddbringer, is it? Toddbringer is here. Because yes. we'll bring Gottfried back. The shadows. The nation fought. They're doing all right, Zacharias. And Hellman oh. is recruiting. So I think for now, that's all we can do this turn. And on the next turn, Manfred can rise. I hunt. Now, what do we want to research next? Corruption could be interesting. And it also increases if we move this way, we can get. Um, recruitment ranks for right kings and manches and plus 30 percent income from vengeful spirit buildings. Get some decent decent buffs from this technology. Can also from this chain as well. You can for all the chains to be honest with you. Just up to the Vargulfs and Vargeists. Which is probably better than corruption at the moment. So yeah, let's... Let's start working our way to get weapon strength. 
melee defense and speed for Vargeists. Get them out of danger of that a little bit quicker. And then we'll make our way to the Empire. Here we come. The foul scent of vermin permeates this place, my lord. Do not risk the undermining of your rule by the Skaven. Take steps to reduce their chittered lies spreading among your followers. So, a brutal business. Battle is blood, is a blood-soaked affair, limbs severed, bones exposed, men left for dead in the crawl, soaked fields amongst scores of fallen friends and enemies. Strong weapons forged with time, sweat and expertise mark the difference between victory and defeat. A good sword cuts clean through bones, severing heads and limbs, where lesser weapons will merely maim. As instability grows across the world, so too does man's bloodlust and his desire for war and carnage on an ever grander scale. So base weapon damage plus 20% for all armies of all factions. Which is interesting. What else is interesting is we've got Gustav Proceed. raiding, I am Karl Prince Franz and Emperor. raiding, we've also got Wolf, Wolfram, and somewhere here we've also got um, Volkmar, I forgot his name then, Volkmar raiding. Let's take tax off. I will um, allow. Let's move you out, because I think, and that's going to probably, yeah, we're probably going to lose Karak and Raziak, but we need the army, because I think the Empire is about to make a move on us. Um, what do we want? Better garrison for Templar will be useful. Or do we upgrade Fort Oberstire? Probably the fort. Maybe. Yeah, let's do the fort. Can I assist? So then we can also upgrade zombie infested iron mine. So he can deal with Wolfram quite nicely. Gustav, do we really have any troops? It's Karl Franz's army that um, worries me a little bit. We've also got Walmond. Let's get thick skin for Walmond. Plus three to armor is really useful. And then have him come up as well. We're just getting Graveguard at the moment, won't we? So let's move Helmond to Castle Templehof. What do you see? Oh, we Rolling might not be able to. Oh, we can't get. We can't get those units in Templar because we don't have the building. Lunacy. That is lunacy. I shouldn't have moved you. We can on our next turn, though. We can Darkness get more troops calls. here. Sorry about that, Helmy. Now, well, that gives us an opportunity to build somewhere else. Garrison building, definitely. No. More sleep, child. This better be. And then, what else can we build? Let's upgrade. What? Let's move we are in into position faster. Master of Let's end the turn and see what happens. Spirit of the jungle have been destroyed. And the Empire is raiding every territory that we now I command. March. Yeah, we need to move Helmand across the border. Oh, extra recruitment as well, which is useful. 
Ah, oh, we get that because the Forbidden Library is now constructed. Really useful. By the comet. We will. Right. Volkmar. Knowledge is full stack. Volkmar. Right, let's position ourselves and get ready. Warrior of Sigma. Who are they actually allied with? You are not welcome in my court. Yet oh, here some you are. factions of Pretoria. Friend or foe, we will see. We're at war with quite a few people as well, which is nice. They must really need income. They're on the verge of wiping out the dwarves, Kirk Hearn, and the Golden Order. So destroying these the allies Empire. might actually be quite nice. They might be our next target. Ready. Just need to get Zacharias into position and how many needs to recruit some more. Let's give him the Kodigstein Stalkers. And. Or should we give him the Feasters? In the dusk, they're not the weak against armor and. I am Prince and Emperor. Yeah, maybe not then. Dark magic is mine to command. So the Mortis engine, the Claw of Nagash, will be quite useful. But we shouldn't right now. Let's leave it for now. And we've got technology research, the Norites Blasphemous Bestiary. For centuries this tomb of beasts has been required reading for necromancers who wish ultimate control, training and mastery of the dread creatures that lurk by the graveside. So plus five leadership for direwolves and fellbats, and we still do have some direwolves in our forces. The Empire is still raiding. They haven't stopped. So we need cavalry in this army now, so let's get... Black Knight, Lances and Barding. A Vargulf. Should we get a corpse cart as well, just for the regeneration? Might get some Grave Guard. Well, we get one Grave Guard because we need one space for our lovely Right King, that's coming up. Your win. How many more turns does he have? Quite a few. Four more turns, and then Hellman's ready. What do you want? The oh, more armies Arsene. come. Yes. Like every army that they've possibly got. Right, and Necromancer. Might as well get the last spell. Ben Hell's Denzi Macabre. Not pronouncing that one right at all. Oh, Gottfried, you're needed there, aren't you? Especially with Wolfric the Wanderer on his way. I'm just thinking, we need. Oh, that's not a very. It's quite a nice army, actually. I'm just thinking we don't have Proceed. enough armies, I don't think, to wipe out everything in this position. The nation calls. Not great swords, but not a lot. Oh, the quite a few handguns, I suppose. I think we'll be alright with this army. It depends if By the comet. it's in mounted. He's on a barded war horse, so he's not on death claw. That's nice. We will. You can easily deal with that army. It's these two that scare me. Never yield. A little bit. We do have support of Telebine. We'll see. Corpse. We'll recruit definitely the cavalry, but we might make a move before we recruit our Vargulf and our Graveguard. Oh, the Skaven have come for us, have they? We can't 
we can't defend against that army, so it's going to have to be an auto resolve. I'll leave it for now. We have lost a territory up north. Rock them clean. I want to know why. Because we've asked. Part of the dead. The world Isabella and Vlad to attack, but they haven't done. I'm wondering why not. It's not good enough. They need to follow orders. Master of the dead. We could get. If our golf is expensive, and hex rays are quite useful, mm, let's just leave it for now. You dare. Um, what shall we do with the, him? Evasion. Zacharias. And right thing. So how many turns away actually? One, two... You have four turns away-ish. And three turns to get the Vargol. Might wait. You could wait. We could actually recruit our remaining lord at this point, or garrison. Excellent. And oh, m another army, why not? Orders, he did. Not a great army though. And All yet right. another one on the way. Tell you what we'll do. On the next turn, we'll recruit our final bloodline, Von Karstein Vilmos. Everyone's just raiding. Let's get Filmos. And doesn't need a strong army. Just needs troops. Death is only the beginning. Sleep shines. Oh. Okay. Alberic. Al Alberic Agilin. Coming in. Proceed. But he's taking heavy damage from Cultrum. Orders heated. Makes you wonder. Yeah, the dwarves are on the way. They must need the income. My axe thirsts for war. But I don't know why they don't just, because the amount of income they're getting, it's not exactly a lot, is it? You'd think they'll just destroy one of their armies, but no. Because the dwarves are poised now to take a couple of territories from them. Interesting. Can I assist? And we'll soon be in a position to attack as well. One more turn and we get the Vargol, so I might as well wait. And then attack. Technically we've got everything. We'll probably get a Barrow once we can upgrade the fort. They're gonna come for us. I don't know why. Where are you going? Wow. Oh, you're going over here, aren't you? You should really concentrate on the scaven. We would have done, but the empire's concerning me. It's time to wipe them out. My puppet starts. I don't think we can do anything else in terms of build. So might as well save our money. My blood We've got an alright garrison in Erengrad as well, so we should be alright if the 
What's the attack? So the sieging Erengrad, and we've got an intimate in rebellion in Midland, which is understandable. Cause we've got oh, we've got the world workers on the way. We might have to deal with them first. Might have to deal with them first, which is annoying. Excellent, Alman. You can go hang out in the fort. And on the next turn, you can get your right king and have a full army. Yeah, I've got a rebellion happening there. And a hand skill point for Gottfried. Um, I really want a zombie dragon for you. But you're not there yet. Unliving host. Let's just buff our army. A little bit more powerful. Hardly high casualties. We'll only lose three three uh, units I don't really care about. Uh, charge bonus, let's give that to our Vargeists. Um, so yeah, apparently we're going to take a lot of casualties. What have we actually got in this army? Okay. Uh, and what have they got? A lot of clan rats. Rattling guns. Wait a minute, if we... Oh, we lose a lot of the garrison, that's why. Okay, I kind of want to attack Raglan, I don't really want to be bogged down with the Skaven again. I'm tempted to auto resolve. Just because we've battled Throt a lot. So let's auto resolve this and let's get into some Raglan fights. And can we just... Crew back. There we go. Oh, Crown of Command. That's quite a useful little trinket for us. This better be important. And let's get Razor Dead. I will alone. Awesome. And we can get Foster Terror again. You know what we're going to do. Yes. Heal up and then we're going to raid some territory. Right. And then the World Walkers. Can I get Manfred to attack them? Can we... Yeah, we've got one more turn with that, so what we could do. It is night. It is night. Oh, there's no point actually. Oh, even Ever more. Vigilant. What? Let's attach the World Walkers. We're gonna lose our die walls. Uh, what have they actually got? Marauder Champions. This is a more interesting fight, at least. So let's do this fight. Right. Let's get our line sorted out. Crossbowmen not on either flank. Gonna just do quite similar uh, groupings and positions of troops. The living will join us. Seems to work well. Necromancer. Guys, let's just move all our guys to this side then. Keep them in reserve for now and remember. And then they're, they're going to come to me. Yes, excellent. The dead are mine. Move them a little bit that way. Move them up a little bit. And move our cavalry up. Let's speed things up. Get into position. And let's send our cavalry in against the skin wolves. Excellent. Well, actually, do the purpose on here because we're all going to be walking into it now anyway. Excellent. 
Oh, nice damage. Nice damage. Attend me! Let's go after that shaman. Just like that magic. And it should go across. Oh, excellent. Nice. Let's get our fog off in there. Let's get our fog guys in there as well on the hunters. Nice bit of damage to her cavalry. Yes, awake, minions. Uh, a bit too far it away, is. aren't they? Dealt with their shaman at least. Still my beating heart. Let's Curse of Years is nice to just slow melee attack, lower speed. It's a really good, useful spell, and let's summon some more warriors. We're doing alright now. Now that we've got better troops, our line holds. We've got um, cavalry and Vargas to harass. The range unit. So as long as you don't let get um, or let range units set up and start firing into your infantry, your infantry is actually quite powerful. And then you just use the necromancer to heal them up, as and when you need to. Bring have our guys back. Cover is about to go into the rear of this infantry. With the diet pack going after the marauders. And let's lower the armor. Soul Breakers. Going to what? Probably send our Vargas now to the Mord Champions here. I think that was zombies that we just lost. Let's go, Leech. Frog. Might make him just break. And yeah, might as well use regenerating flesh to just heal up Manfred. Oh, army losses are setting now. That's it. I'm gonna let Throg go though. Necromancer. I am the. And battle. Pyrrhic victory. Hmm, decent amount of loot. Excellent. So let's get let's get the dark magic because our income's gone really low again. Fun. 
And we've got Troll Hunter, another Team Among His Kind. Throg is nothing if not tenacious. He won't stay down for long. So bonus versus large plus 15 and weapon strength plus 3% for Manfred, which is really useful. My right is mine. Shut up! And it's far from home, so to be honest, even if it comes back, is not a true threat. Might hunt him down, might not. Not sure yet. Not sure. Uh, so let's get the barrow for Fort Obersteyer. Yes. And then... What do you want? I will allow. Let's get... What treats the Vilmos? All right. This better be important. Then let's end the turn. See what happens in the next one. Jagged Horn Tribe destroyed. And Isabella seems to be going here, there, and everywhere. All right. More wet turn. Let's get them fully rested and recuperated first. We've got a meal on Corden coming as well, but we better just attack them. Oh, Emperor Carl Franz has moved. Actually, that's quite nice that he has moved. That is actually quite My nice that he has moved. Because on the next turn we can attack the armies here, wipe them out, recuperate a little bit and then go after him. Vilmos can... How many armies do we have? Never yield. More sleep shines. Is that one of their armies? Yeah, they're taking damage. So on the next turn we can probably deal with all of this in one go because we've got quite a nice garrison before Emil comes back up. See, so yeah, I think on the next turn it should be quite interesting. We have got a rebellion going to happen in mid and stag. But I don't care about that at the moment. What I care about is that my income has dropped significantly. I'm still trading with everyone. So why? Why has it dropped? We did get another army. Raiding's hitting us a little bit as well. Okay, let's see what happens in the next turn. Um, yeah, let's just let them take it. I don't really care about Mid and Stag at the moment. It's going to be destroyed by the Empire at some point anyway, so... Let them have it. Under Sea discovered at Essen. So we've lost Mid and Stag. Well, Corrupter of the Forest, the darker and more haunted the forest become the better the habitat for fell creatures. Recruitment costs are down for fell bats and direwolves and upkeep minus 10 for fell bats and direwolves. Got quite a few of them in our army as well, so not that bad. And we're gonna have to garrison to protect from the world walkers that are on the way. Right, I think it might be time for the Empire T4. So this episode is longer than I expected in terms of preparation to take out the Empire. So we'll end the episode here, and then we'll start the next episode by battling the Empire. Reichland itself shall fall. So if you've enjoyed this video and the series please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming episodes and thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.